Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Astaire and we have readied a few new people. We do have a new Priest Exorcist, but that's backstory isn't quite ready yet. But we do have Navar the Cat Cataphract uh, ready and I've also prepared us for a mission. We are going to go ahead to take on the 8 pounder. Um, I'm not exactly sure the best setup. For the 8 pounder. But I've just gone with a lot of damage. Um, I've got 3 off healers. So we've got heal here. We've got heal here. And we've got a heal here. So I think we don't need an actual proper healer. And then we've got Bagman up front. Doing some lovely, lovely damage. Um, so I'm hoping these guys work really well together. But as I said. We do have a backstory to get into for Navahi. And this is a pretty interesting one. This one is... Written as a song, as a, as a little song here. So, um, a note was found on a table um, left by the side. And this is by uh, Gargoyle Guy. A knight of voice and poise, beautiful and kind, handsome and stern. Atop a cool, pale glow, they rode into town, hoping their love, uh, lover they could find. Said that their love they were here to earn. Navarre, the unrequited. A night of hollow noise, ugly and um, maligned, Ma yeah, maligned, ugly and maligned, hideous and stained, aloft a banner on sin. Here upon a mission of grim um, and avaricious, unknown by their obsession, they were here to stalk. That's all the music I can get out of me old gullet tonight, what a draft man, woman, whatever the heck they were came in trying to act all high and mighty, saying they were uh, here to return a loving favour to someone who didn't know him. Those rotten, leprous eyes meant others. they meant other intents. Rather interesting. Rather interesting. Of course, nicely butchered by me, because I can't read, but either way, I like, I like it when people put songs into their characters. So, we've got kind of an interesting setup here. As I said, Bagman's up front with the high damage. Then we've got um, Thanatos here. I've actually given him the um, skill chances for extra stun, um, as well as obviously the resists. But also we've gone with the Tariff's Head, which is going to give us even more stun plus damage against humans. Because we've got this here, and we're going to be attacking humans reasonably often when we get to the Brigand 8 Pounder. So I'm hoping we can get a lot of stuns going on with that attack there. Then, of course, we've got Rose here, who's ba basically just going to be mainly a healer. She's going to help with um, using Suppressing Fire, but mainly the healing is going to be what she does. And then we have Navar here, who starts in the back line and will use Onslaught to push his way to the front. And then we can use the um, Wheeling Disengage to pull back if we need to. And then the heal if we're in the front line, uh, or Thrust if we want to use that as well. We've got him with a bit of armor piercing, a little bit of extra healing as well in case we want to use this. Two to eight are rather wide margin so i thought we'd go for that but this is going to be our crew um i'm hoping these guys can do something good uh we're going to the wield um and we want to be taking in actually i haven't one thing i haven't done one sec before we before we venture out let's just check we've got a prevent nighttime ambush there that we don't have unlocked yet we have a prevent nighttime ambush here that'll give him some stress though only three percent damage <laughs> that's kind of terrible um, prevent nighttime ambush. Okay, we'll probably go with that one. It's 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 going to be extra stress, but I think we'll keep we'll go with that one there. And like I said, let's get provisions ready. We'll go with twenty food. We have a lot more money to work with here, so we're we're all good. And we'll just go with the regular three of all of these. Two of them. And then we'll take 14 torches. And I think that gets us good to go. I think we are ready for the Brigand 8-pounder. Um, we have a crew that should be able to do a decent amount of damage here. I'm hoping that they are set and ready to go. So let's embark. And of course, we do have some diary entries to go over to. nature loquacious. And the denizens of the hamlet were no exception. It was not long before rumors of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, awe turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square.
Interesting. So we've got our first Darien trick from Rocker, and this is from Uriel, our um, fledgling. Oh, light. I knew the bishop was correct in sending me here. My first excursion was to the brine. The others claimed it stunk of salt and fish. Pah! It reeked of heresy to darkness. I'm sorry, oh, light. The lash rips Uriel's back again. I did not mean to yell at your magnificence. It was a crew of the damned. Their greed and dark dealings got them the fate they deserved. I have done your will, O oh Light, cleansing the heretics of their sin of existence. The father pensively lists to Uriel from outside the penance hall, rubbing the back of his weathered neck. I knew the chapel was advancing their efforts, but this may be it may begin something. Something horrid. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Right, we've got a few more diary entries as well, but we'll get to those. Not as busy as a week as last week was, but yeah. Interested to try out the Brigand 8 Pounder here. Gunpowder hangs in the air. Indeed it does. But I really, I, oh, really, I really like this crew. I think this crew has something special about them. Um, I, I like the idea of uh, Thanatos and um, Navar here. I think these two are somewhat mythical and they work well together. And Bagman's just some crazy bastard who'll do whatever anyone else wants to do. He is, he is well up for the challenge and I kind of love that about him. Um, we'll go for the Suppressing Fire. We'll probably use Suppressing Fire a lot just to get those debuffs on. Um, that'll be our main sort of thing that we use. We're going to take a lot of stress here, I think. We don't have tons of stress healing going on, but we'll see. And then we can use Onslaught here. We'll try and take you out. Look at that. I love the Steed. It's awesome. Then we can use this for extra damage, or we can use this for the stun. This will stun if it hits, but it didn't. <laughs> I was like, ah, let's not go for the damage. We can go for a good stun here. No, no, no. Um... Right, let's advance our combo state, a and then and we can go for damage on this guy and get a crit for 30. Bagman is just absolutely a beast. I love Bagman. Absolute beast. Let's try that again, shall we? And then, yeah, there you go. The stun chance on that is, is exceedingly high, uh, which is really, really nice. Um... We can expect our opposed, or we can go with this. We've also got stun chance on here as well, so we'll go for this. That stuns you, but you're dead anyways, so... You just decay into... A little creature, of course. But luckily, no one got latched with the, um... The bait, so we're fine on that end. We're gonna top people up with healing where we can manage it. Honestly, Rose isn't really here to use her uh, crossbow all that much. Um, we're gonna go with the wheeling disengage here, which will buff... Deep of accuracy and speed on everyone. Pulls you back a bit. And we'll go with that again. And it just means we can really heavily debuff accuracy on all of these enemies, which I think is super important for us, especially when it comes to the Brick and Eight Pounder. That's going to be, like, massively important. That was a big hit. Wow. Big hit. We'll go for a kill here. A little bit of stress relief. Wind our combo state up again. Go for another crit. Wow. Bagman, you're just the best. You're the best of all of us. And then Onslaught moves us up here. One thing I didn't think about is we've got to be careful, because if we don't have someone in that in the backline positions, we can't use Onslaught to get ourselves moved up, which is potentially problematic. Go for a kill there. Of course, these guys keep molting, so we're having trouble with them at the minute. Definitely the stress that's more problematic, but... We're killing him reasonably easily, and dude, Bagman, what is going on? That's a crit on every hit thus far. Um, we'll go for a heal here. Nice heal for 11. We'll go for a heal there, heal for 8. And we'll hopefully get a kill here, indeed we did. Very nice. We'll give this to you. Coffin contains hidden treasures, there's only a little bit of gold, it is what it is. Good fight, good fight. We took on a bit more stress than I'd hoped, but... Otherwise, that went really well. Grab this here and see what we get. A little bit of extra food is nice. Don't mind if I do. Another trap. Mind that such poison. Steps are the so, okay, we've got extra food to heal that damage up. If we need to, of course, we're heading all the way to the end here. Probably, probably this one here. Grab that. We've not got anyone specific for extra loot or anything, so we're not worrying about that right now. Nature herself, right. a victim Give to the spreading food. malformed with misintent. Okay, guys. Okay. Here's some humans. We got the extra stun chance against humans. Remember? 
Stressful Incantation coming in twice here. Right off the bat, I'm sure it's both going to go for you. We'll debuff that accuracy. Hopefully this will miss now. Unfortunately not. I knew they'd both go for you. It was, it was kind of obvious. We got the high stun chance against you guys. Even higher if it's against a human. Progress that combo state. Can you get another crit? Oh, yes, yes you can. <laughs> what is your crit chance, my guy? <laughs> what is happening here? It's only nine. What the hell's happening? Go for a hit there. It's kind of baffling how crazy this is going. Eldritch Pull doesn't do too much to harm us here. Eldritch Pull again. Maybe a bit different this time, but we get the dodge. Um, we'll just go for a kill here. Better to get you gone. We don't need the healing super badly. Okay, no crit this time, but still 21 damage. I'm going to go for the stun again here. That enemy is human. It does do that extra stun chance. We'll just go for attack damage here, I think. Beautiful crit. Great stuff. Yeah, these guys are doing a good job. I mean, our stress levels are a little bit through the roof thus far, this but expedition at least it kind of is what it is. Success. We're definitely looking for all of the, um, all of the, what are they called, that we can get. Crests and stuff. We need as much of them as we can possibly get our hands on, because we want to do upgrades. I did actually upgrade our stage code before the episode started, so that we can now get level 3s. Um, in our roster, rather than just level ones and twos, or is it level fours now? I can't remember. I think it's, I think it's only level threes. The promise of safety. Go with that. Try and get the stun here. This would be amazing if we got the stun. Okay, this guy's as dead as dead can be. He doesn't even get to move. Uh, we'll take out one of you. Nice kill. Really, really good like way of getting around the battlefield here terms of how we move. This guy does have really high speed and high, high dodge, so we still have to hit him, but we've got a decent chance of that. In fact, that guarantees a crit, so we'll go for that. It's just beautiful. Nice stress heal across the board. Blanket fire, we're dodging. Nice. Let's go for damage here. And you're a human, so you'll get stunned. I'm really liking this ability with this, um, he gets 25% extra damage and 25% extra stun chance against humans, and I think that works so well for his primary ability. There you go, and see what we get from this treasurer. Ooh, nice, okay. So we got some good stuff here, right. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. What does this do? Um, on attack, torch plus 25. That's actually really good, the salamander, I like that. Um, and then... For Citrine, I'm going to leave Citrine. I know I know that we probably want to be taking as much money as we can, but I don't know what to give away for Citrine right now. Getting good with the Curios. I really should start to build a stack of blood. Like, it's kind of bad that we don't have blood yet. I'm going to take a risk and take the blood, because at the minute we have none. And realistically, we're getting some level 4s now. We've started out, we've got our first level 4. We need to start... Thinking once we get a decent amount of level fours going to the Crimson Court, I think we need to because um, there's there's a lot to get there's a lot to gain from it. I'm not going to do a shovel on that quite yet because we don't know how many more uh, will actually be required. These guys are humans, so we do some de extra damage As to them. The get some debuffs on you guys. Minus crit is also really nice. Clear. Progress state goes up, and then we smack with the high crit damage. Damn it, no crit this time, but still good stuff. Another thing as well is we have armor piercing on... Is it is it you? Who has armor piercing? Okay, you have armor piercing, so that's decent that at least someone does. We'll stun you. Groping swing comes in, of course, and then a stressed guy. Everyone else's stress is at such, such low levels, and then his is just crazy. Try and take you out. Nice one. I really like that attack. Let's go for this. Just good damage. Debuff that death blow chance is also quite nice. It does do self damage to us though. Take you out. We definitely need some healing worked in here where possible. Mol at least you're not duplicating. I'm gonna go Another for the kill. Our health is reasonable. Portrait here. We want both Remind of these realistically. Um, slow and insidious killer. 
This tree, I definitely want the portrait. Let's get rid of them. The onyx is pretty good too. Uh, I'm going to have to get rid of the blood. I'm going to just have to build the, um, the sanitarium, whatever it's called. The place that gives us blood every so often. I'm going to have to build that. Because it's just taking up room. Ooh, we are marked by the flock someone here is, at least. We got, we got a switch around there, but it's not terrible. But yeah, we are marked by the flock, so we got some talon uh, cutthroats and stuff. These guys can be pretty pretty brutal. Gotta be, gotta be wary of them. Nice dodge on the volley there. But they are human, so the stun chance is high against them. Also very high. Um, gonna move forward two here. Actually puts us in an okay position now. And we'll do the disengage, actually, to debuff their accuracy. Perfectly worked out for us. Who is it that's marked by the flock? Oh, it's Navar. Okay, he's come in marked by the flock. Okay. Here's what it is. We can deal with it. Nice heal there. We can onslaught back in and take you out. I love that back and forth. Playing back, then straight to the front. Actually, this guy might be great for fighting against... Um, the, the circus champion once we get round to that. Good damage. We can get a guaranteed crit on you. Stress heals. Time to perform beyond one's really nice to get those guaranteed crits. His crit gives him plus one additional health heal. That's kind of nice. Bleed on us? No? No bleed? Nice one. We resisted. Still gonna go for the heals here. I want to keep people topped up, and then we stun him. Even at fifty percent chance, I know it's a likely chance to stun. And then there's the crit to finish him off. Honestly, Bagman might be one of our strongest heroes. We get some talon feathers. They sell for a thousand. We definitely want to take that. Um, go with that. And at this point, even the bandages I'm gonna sell. I know it's risky. Nothing inside of value. It's fine, it is what it is. Right, coming up on the Brigan. Eight pounder, we can camp. Cause I just threw those away. That's already been looted as well. We got a battle here beforehand. Well, let's have a look, see. We don't. This is the boss. And let's uh, let's camp. So in terms of nighttime ambush, um we can do this with our food. We've got plenty of food actually. Rats in a maze. Um Plus 15 stress on himself. Or we can go with a chance for everyone to get plus 15 stress. I think we're just going to go with that. And it only costs 3 as well. Oh, that's 20 stress because he's got bonus stress. Okay, so first of all, can we remove some of that stress? There we go, we can. Uh, let's see what else we got. We have 7. Do you know what? Let's, uh, let's do that again. And then we can play around with whatever else. Extra damage, accuracy, and crit seems amazing on that guy. Um... I think we're just going to go for that, you know. Um, there you go. That's just super valuable. And then we shall rest. Why do you keep me alive? Please stop treating me. It is a miracle. Madness. Oh my god. I, I like all these little voice lines we get when we, uh, when we camp. But we'll also get a diary entry in here as well. We got um, one from the uh, Sophia the Musketeer. Um, Sophie, sorry, the Musketeer by Blank Gaming. I saw the way I Eileen's eyes looked last week. Those are the eyes of someone, um, of someone who had everything taken from them. The eyes I was told I had been um, so many after. I heard what happened to Kimber. I don't care what might be the cost. I don't care if I'm the cost. By the time I'm done with the faker, calling her Swiss cheese would, uh, would be an understatement. I love that. <laughs> nice one. We've also got another one from Viara here who has been... Absolutely trucking it. Our highest level so far from Dr. Samus Junkie. I was pulled from my heart treatment to help dig a little project of the air's um, little... Uh, to help a little project of the air a little further out of po uh, poverty. Not only that, I was, uh, was able to rest for not even an hour before I was told I was going back out again for another week. I'm beginning to doubt our leader's abilities to lead. If he continues on this with more violent sorts, Basilla might be in... Uh, cha in charge for real instead of just a proxy. I'm so tired. 
I don't know how much more of these old these old bones have left to give to this hellish place. I miss my daughter more now than ever. Maybe I should leave for a time to go see her, if they allow me. She is really, yeah, been sent through the uh, the ringer in the amount of work she's had to do. Okay, I think we're ready for the brigand eight pounder. Let's give it a go. I think we're well equipped. The path is clear. We should be able to do good damage. It only has 20% frost. We need to kill this guy here because he will uh, ma he will light the match. We unfortunately can't do that yet, but we can at least take this guy out. We'll try and take you out. Progress that combat state here. Good damage to it. And we'll take you out with that. Nice one. Reinforcement. So he's constantly going to be bringing back people, mainly this guy here. We're going to want to keep on top of him because he's the only one that can light the match. I think the only one. But otherwise, these guys aren't that big of a problem. Especially when we can do this. Deal good damage to the back line as well. I'm going to hop back. That'll kill you, but it'll also... Oh, wait, your debuff resist is crazy. I, I thought we'd be able to debuff the... the... Thing, but we can't. That's fine, to be honest. It's fine. So damage again. We need one of those big crits is what we need. We did have, I think we do have a trinket that improves ironwork damage, so we should have taken that. Again, Bros is actually doing some really, really important crits here, so I'm happy about that. Got it more than halfway dead already. Wind up. Combo smash. I'm really hoping for one of those big crits, but it's not coming push forward. We're all taking damage, but we've not really needed the healing yet. The reinforcements come in, but I think I think we're good to just take you out pretty much. Yeah, and that kills you as well. We'll heal you just in case. I don't think it's that worthwhile, but we'll do it. And you're on one HP left now, so let's execute. I love the execute move. Are you going to escape? You are. You are going to run away. Very, very nice stuff. We managed to complete the mission there with quite a bit of ease, to be honest. Um, let's just check if we want to continue adventuring at all. We don't have anything scouted, so it is definitely a little bit of a risk. Bringing back more gold is always nice, so maybe we will be overconfident. And to be honest, this group is just performing very, very well. Um, and I'm happy to sort of push them a little bit further. And see if we can make something of it. We also still have a little bit of food left too, which is worth noting. I'm only going to take on these two paths. I'm not going all the way back there. I just want to see if we've got any battles remaining. Oh, hello. We got the dull tree. This is a, a boss. Not what I was expecting. This could end up being problematic for us. Um, we'll, we'll see. We shall see. Um, what's your debuff resist? Okay, debuff resist is low, so we can definitely debuff you. Wow, that didn't work out. And hopefully it stuns on, but stun chance is low too. I mean, this thing has 83 health. It will go down reasonably quickly, especially if we're hitting for crits of 23. The noose tightens. A lot of damage there. It's okay, we can definitely deal with that. We didn't get uh, another huge crit. We didn't get stunned. Leech Root, you're going to heal off of me, I think. Yeah, you are going to heal off of me. That's not terrible, though. Face the gallows again. Gallows move can be a little bit scary. So this is likely to do five to seven. Seven to nine. We'd rather go for seven to nine, obviously. More damage there. This thing's going to be dead any second. We'll heal up ourselves here just in case. I don't think we're in severe danger of uh, dying, though. And the new Titans even missed as well, which is real nice. And you're on one HP left as well. What's, what is it with everything being left with one HP? Nicely dodged that sap there. Face the gallows again. We'll finish you off. Perhaps the turning nice. Point. Trinkets that I'm not particularly that bothered about. But what I'll do is I'll... Uh, I'll get rid of these, I'll take them. And then I'll come over... I think I just got rid of my keys, didn't I? Stupid. Anyways, we'll finish the mission there. Wasn't expecting to face off against a little boss there, but... It wasn't of any concern to us, and we get ourselves the Sir Edward's Noble Sword. Extra food consumption, extra accuracy, extra damage. A accuracy and damage is going to be real good for people like Chaos. 
And we've reached level 3 with a good few people here. Um, it's rather nice. Sentry is good. Navarre's got Dogadora. It's nice. And we'll see what we want to go out on next. So first of all, of we want to unequip and reorder. See if we got anything cool going on in here. Iron Swan is... Oh, wow. That's that's very, 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 very good. But it's definitely a little bit of a risk to take that because it's quite expensive. But god damn. 35% chance and 15 virtue is really good. So let's check our stagecoach. We did indeed get a level 3 and it is indeed an heir. We don't have anyone else we want to bring on right now. Uh, we need to be leveling up this at some point, to be honest. Uh, to try and get more people in. We also have a few different ones of these that we really need to be working towards. I want to take a little look at what we've got going on here. Um, medical Grounds, Kraken Society, The Mill. We don't want any of these ones yet. Smoldering Ruin isn't particularly what we want. Okay, these are the sort of ones. Okay, this is it. The, sangui the Sanguine... Um, Vinters, we need a, wow, we need a ton for that, holy, okay, that is, we're a ways off of that, I, I really wanted to get this, but we're a ways off of that, also the bank, how far are we off the bank, um, bank, oh, we're not actually that far off of the bank, I mean, in terms of these we are, but we got the money, but yeah, well, we'll see what we end up wanting to do here. Um, we're going to go out, obviously, on another mission here. We'll take these guys off the roster. And we'll see what else we want to do. Swine Prince is definitely a good one. Especially with all of those skill chance improvements. We'll probably actually go for the Swine Prince here. Uh, let me make a team and I'll be right back. Okay, we are ready. I've put together a team. We're going to go out to kill the Swine Prince and get this unique charm. Which seems pretty darn good, to be honest. Uh, we're going to go out with Chaos. Um, who I've just... I'll be honest, I've just been wanting an excuse to take Chaos out for ages. He's literally going with the double sword method for a bonus to accuracy, which is fantastic on him, as well as damage, and then a bonus to damage, crit, and a little bit of speed, and um, dodge removal. And then we've got uh, the Guardian of Never. We're going with the uh, Ancestor's Medal for that extra bleed chance, as well as resists, as well as the Daruma for the debuffs when we do bleed things. And then because we're doing bleed, we've got bleed on Chaos, we've got bleed on Guardian of Never. Um, we've got Hash Has Hasashi? Hasashi, I can never remember how to pronounce this, with a mega bleed build. He's got the Demon Seal, uh, which is extra bleed chance, massive bonus to bleed applied versus bleeding, and um, a re increased amount of bleed received. And then also the Condemned Hood, which is... A massive bit to bleed resist, which is hopefully going to counter the bleed duration received, uh, as well as bleed uh, amount when applied and death blow resist, which shouldn't matter. Uh, in terms of our camping skills, let's take a little look. I've not actually looked at these yet. Um, I don't think we have a prevent night time. Oh no, we do. That's okay. We're good. Um, and I think this should be really good. And of course, we've just got the crazy healing of Bacilla here. Uh, I've leveled everyone up, so it did cost me a pretty penny, uh, but everyone is leveled up and ready to go into the Warrens. This should be fairly easy, considering some of these level 3s. We should kind of walk through this. Um, we might also come across this boss here, so we'll see when that ends up happening. Um, Goddamn, that's pretty awesome. These are the sort of reasons I want to go into, um, into the courtyard, but we just aren't ready yet. We'll get there, but we aren't ready just yet. So let's let's grab our provisions. Uh, this is going to be a medium mission to the Warrens. So we'll take fourteen food. Actually, we'll take we'll take eighteen food because we do have some um, some extra hunger. We'll take three, 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 and then we'll take sixteen torches. Actually, we'll take fourteen. We don't need quite sixteen. Um. And I think that should be good for us to go and see how we do. Um, we're going to need to build up some more money soon, so Viara, you might want to go and uh, head, up, head out on that trip pretty darn soon, because otherwise there's not going to be much time for it. And I think this bleed group is, um, is well-versed and should have a pretty darn good time. We've also got some good stun here, which is going to apply even more bleed versus stun targets. So I've got some interesting stuff going on here. 
Either way, let's embark and, uh, and see what we can get done here, because I'm sure this group is going to be kind of crazy. The ways and rituals of blood sacrifice are difficult to master. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. Interesting. So I have just actually noticed something. The person that wrote for our cataphract that we just played as never, um, I actually, I think I, I misread part of their backstory. So I'm going to go back over that. I read um, the the note passed for, for, by, found by a passed out minstrel of the little song, but I didn't actually read the full backstory. So I'm going to go into that here. Um, one second. Um, recording now. We'll read this. Great. Okay, so let's get into this. This is by Gagal Guy. Um, what would you do for love? Would you steal away that which is not yours? Would you condemn your family? Would you lie to the world? Would you cheat even the gods themselves? Could you even call that love? Um, rate the street rat, born to a whore, I'm guessing that is, <laughs> in a set of twins, abominations, the birth of them. Not even the love of a dying mother could provide comfort. Stealing was easy for children covered in rags, and getting lost in the crowds of the capital's poorest was even easier. But one, um, but one can only hide themselves as a child for so long. Even the dirty rags the twins um, go at war could hardly contain their burgeoning forms at, um, at their last breath of childhood. They needed an escape. It was a twist of fate. A letter mistakenly lost. A parchment was of fine stock. The letter itself smelled of expensive um, eau de toilette. I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize. <laughs> Inside was a crystal ring of otherworldly whimsy, and the words within held a deep, passionate love for their dear Navarre. Oh, how Rayet had lived sick to, her, uh, to hear such words. They simply had to meet them. But how could anyone love an abomination, a monster? But there was those that could be loved despite their twisted actions. City guards were monsters, but oh, uh, how wealthy they would dirt, um, dirt upon these knights. At the height of their young strength, the two tried to wrestle their lives away. All they needed was armor sets from Riot, um, sets from Riot's thought. The more glamorous, the better. Then was the second twist of fate. They found and stole a glistening suit of armour, beset by the same fine crystal of the ring. They shed their name and become Navarre, that they, uh, that they wished, became the Navarre they wished they could be. Navarre never really cared what happened to their twin after the guards took them to the prison in their place. Navarre never looked back to their, li to their dead life, only forward with the lie of their life. Consumed by an obsession of love. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. So that that, that song and that are both part of the same thing. Um, but I'm going to just tell them I read, that out, read it out of order. Order. Good, good, good. Okay, great stuff. Um, we do have one more here. This is a song from Dr. Sandwich Junkie. A song here being performed at the tavern by Pandas, playing his lute while prancing around and collecting tips from the other patrons. Oh, the crew stood hardy and the crew stood firm. The smugglers of the curve who death could not hold. By the, fourth, the, he uh, by the four, the heroes to their crew um, lair did they go, to bash and beat and bleed and tear them in new holes. The captain did cry, the captain did screech, but the four knew no mercy, the four did not hear him preach. They struck him down hard, and joy was to be made. The old captain would know rest, though it came from the tip of our blades. I love that sort of stuff. All the songs and stuff are absolutely great. You guys put like, so much effort into that. Right, so we're, we're probably heading all the way over here, or all the way over here. This is a slightly difficult one to predict. But this is going to be a crew that can do some really crazy shit, I think. I think this crew is going to be absolutely insane. Ooh, we're marked by the flock yet again. Friend for the flock. Who is marked by the flock here? Volley coming in. Only one took the debuff. Okay, it, it is Never. I was wondering if um, Guardian of Never 
because he got um, targets for it, whether it meant it was him or not. Double stun off the bat there. Really nice to attack the enemies that hadn't been yet. We can do a party heal, which is a huge heal, goddamn. We can go like that to get some bleed on and that debuff for crits received. And then we can go for a huge hit there. 22. Awesome. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Stressful incantation, of course. Incoming stress. More volley to income as well. And we'll go for you. Nice whip. An insta kill. But we're gonna we're gonna kind of shred through a lot of these enemies, so we don't need to rely on our bleed as much as we think we would, sort of thing. Heal ourselves for 12 there. Amazing. Our healing's gonna be off the charts here. Oh, I should have I should have um, realized that Guillotine can't hit the front enemy there. My bad. It's okay. Annihilated. We can pull you forward, right? I think we can. We want to have position people in positions two and three to have a go at. Even here, we've got bleed luck. It's just bleed across the board. It's great. There you go. You are dead to bleed now. Add a crit on there too, to add insult to injury. Why the hell not? Got a few feathers there, lovely. So too will resistance. Portrait to boot as well. Great stuff. Good, good. Grab that. We'll keep pushing forward. See what we can find. Scouting here is fantastic. Scouting helps a ton. Chaos eating quite a lot there. I'm sure he's a hungry, hungry boy. Of course, at the minute, he is fueled by pure rage after what had happened to Kimba. I'm sure that is very much fueling his want to go out. Now, this, this head enemy does get extra attacks when it's bleeding, so... We'll see how that goes. Destroyed. God damn. I want to see how much bleed it applies, but because it's like it's a like extra 66% off of this, and then we could have another 66% if they're stunned as well. It's just it could be so crazy, but um, at the minute we're not having the ability to do anything with it. Nice hit. That should kill you with the bleed, right? Indeed, it does. I just love having teams like this where everyone has the ability to do some bleed. Dry belly ache. Intriguing. We'll see what that does. I think this guy gets some bonuses versus already bleeding enemies as well. I'm not 100% sure about that. So much vomit. Um, yeah, so basically on bleeding, on attacks bleeding, he gets um, a de-stress. Five over three, that's nice. Compassion Heal across the board. The Dry belly battle. ache. Ooh, that is rough. That is really, really rough. It's good to know, because that is that that's brutal. Less accuracy. Uh, was that less damage as well? And then virtue chance. Less max HP, okay. That's rough. Decimated. Good, good. Remove a negative quirk here. I don't know who we want to remove one on. Let's, let's take a little look. Minus two speed and dodge would be good. Um, frail would also be good. Guilty conscience would also be good to be removed. Sometimes I attack allies. It's a guaranteed removal. Wait. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that because it's a guaranteed removal. Minus 25% speed. Yeah, let's 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 do it on here. And get the holy water in there. Nice one. Just just so we, we don't accidentally hit our teammates here, because I'd rather not do that, to be honest. Oh, we get another quirk removal here. Um, I'm going to go with you this time, Chaos. We'll see. We removed fading. Oh, that's good. At minus, minus two speed, minus five dodge has been removed. Rather nice. It's not all that impactful, but the light one of the better bridges. ones to remove. Spirits are lifted. Perfect for scouting here. This is made clear. Some cultist brawlers. Had to get the bleed on everyone first. And I can play into that. It also gets the crits received on everyone first as well.
Uh, I'm just going to keep everyone topped up, to be honest. We're healing for so much. Oh, that is not what I meant to use there. They all look the same. My bad. Still, good damage on him, I guess. How much bleed does this apply? 10 over 5. Oh my god. That's going to stack up so fast for us. It's going to be amazing. And then 41. Chaos is going to do so much damage too. It's 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 really all very beautiful. It's all very beautiful. The drums come in, but we can handle it. And we got a good crit there as well. I have just realised, actually, we probably ought to camp before this. Um, I'm just going to do five, to be honest. Need some food just in case we get a food check. Prevent night time ambush there. One companion accuracy and speed. Um, we got damage versus human. Nothing much there. Damage versus bloodsucker. Not great. Do we have any healing? We have healing there. I'm going to do this and then do it to you. And then... Oh, wait. That was stupid. That was really stupid. My bad. I did it on the wrong person. Um... Go less stress on you. And more or less stress on you. And then anything else we can fit in? I guess we'll go with that. Why not? That two chance isn't super needed. I'm not hoping to get that much of a stress check. The promise of safety. Okay, in we go. Did lower his HP a bit much, but now we've got goddamn amazing damage there. We'll see if this is the boss. It might not be. I think it is though. In radiance, it's not. Okay. Victory. That helps because we can now heal up before the next battle. There you go. Heal up straight away. We'll go with Chain Gang. Get those two in the middle stunned. Pop that on you. Backline's going to be a little annoying. In fact, I'm going to go for Tremors to try and hit the backline. It didn't happen, but we got stunned across the board on these three, which is nice. Still going to take some stress, though. Oh, we dodged it. Maybe not. But yeah, all these guys are stunned, which helps us a ton. Facts. Going to be some really easy kills here. Unfortunately, the vomit did come off. But again, a dodge. That's so good. So damn good. That on you. 12. Oh my god. He's on 16 over 3. The boss is about to get absolutely demolished. And then that oh, doesn't quite kill you, but it's very close. 20 over 3. Beautiful stuff. As the enemy crumbles. I always bring out way too many supplies when I go on these, but you got to be cautious. You got to be. Ju you got to have, have that just in case. Right, this should be the boss, I think. See what we end up getting on the way. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly right, corruption. Right, let's go. Indeed it is. Remember Dirt Attack Wilbur. Wilbur will do some nasty stuff to us. But we have really high healing, so it's not a big deal. Hit you with that bleed off the bat. You've got, like, no bleed resist. Okay. Hit for more bleed. Your stun resist is very high, though, so we're not going to be stunning you very likely, which is a shame, but it is what it is. We'll go with the extra damage there. And we will heal you and add dodge. 14. Goddamn. So good. Wilbur's going to do his thing, but I don't think this guy's going to be around for long. This bleed is going to stack up so insanely quickly. It's already at 20 over 3. 24 over 3. Wild Flailing missed as well. Even better. Plus 31 damage. Oh my god, this might be one of the quickest boss kills we've ever goddamn seen. Oh no, I goddamn bled Wilbur. I didn't realise that hit both of them. My bad. We should, we should kill him before Wilbur dies here, but... Oh, that's not great. 
You'll be fine, Wilbur. Just don't. Don't be a don't be a bitch. I didn't mean to bleed you. I'm sorry. Oh my god, uh, you're dead. You're literally already dead. We got we got up to 37. Actually, scratch that. 41 over five. The thing is even more horrible than death. Wow. Come soon That's actually insane. That's the most bleed I've ever seen on one thing. You're going for stuns on us, my lad, but it's not not gonna work. We stun you now. And you died to the bleed. Therefore, I just fish for crit heals. And crit for a crit there. I'm sure Chaos found that very therapeutic. Success um, so clearly in view. Or is it merely What is this trinket? I just want to check what it is. Accuracy in position two. Oh, that's actually decent. Okay, remember we got a disease to clear off here as well. Very nice. Klepto. Ooh, very nice. Sentry is good as well. Very nice indeed. Right, first of all, let's unequip and rearrange. See if we've got going on here. Crusader, holy lance damage, speed and crit. That's amazing. Again, our money doesn't really allow us to buy those yet. Um, and in terms of this, we've not got anyone want to bring on board at the moment. I'm gonna do this. I want. I want to increase the amount of people we're seeing. seeking fortune and glory. In this good stuff, domain, though. These guys did a very, damn. very good job there. Cool, cool, cool. Why is it saying we've got like a notification in here? What? Oh, there you go. I see. Okay, nice. But these guys have done a fantastic, fantastic job. Um, we're getting people leveled up. We've killed a few bosses. Let's see what we want to do next time. Uh, we got the Ink and Flesh, which would be good. A lot of extra damage and stuff in the curve. That could be pretty useful. Kind of funny to get that from the Warrens, but there you go. Um, we have a lot of Sunward Isles stuff to potentially do. I'm, I'm definitely partial to. Still got this, which is scaring the ever-living hell out of me. Um, killing the Ringmaster. We'll get around to that at some point. Hero killed... Hero killed... Oh, Ring of Sacrifice, I see. So when... When uh, we die, everyone gets a block. That's not amazing, but it's potentially useful. Either way, we'll, we'll jump back into this on the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We've managed to do some good stuff. And uh, yeah, we need to just put uh, you in for disease treatment. One sec, where are you? That one was terrible. Okay, so what disease do you have? Okay, that disease is fine. Bacillus yours is also fine. Although we might as well get rid of it too. Okay, put, put you in first. Yes, and then put you in as well. There you go. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.